So Ben, so glad you could join us for this episode of Amplify. Oh yeah, I'm glad to... Hey Paul, look, it's very Kurzweil, and he's got a bunch of mana bots. Wait, Over what? there, 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 there! Okay, quick, while he's gone, I'm going to chat about AMP actions and events. AMP's actions and events syntax should look familiar. Let's say you were using jQuery, and you wanted to show something when a button was clicked. Your code might look something like this. The key elements here are on click, surprise, and show. Essentially, you're telling the browser, when someone clicks this button, execute this JavaScript that grabs DOM element, whose ID is surprise, and display it. In AMP, you do the same thing using the on attribute. Here, we tell AMP that when this button is tapped or clicked, show the DOM element whose ID is surprise. Let's break that down. Each action on AMP has the form event colon target ID dot action. This tells AMP, when this event occurs on this DOM element, take an action on another DOM element. And surprise, event is the event, target ID is a DOM element, and not too shockingly, action is the action. In AMP, every DOM element supports three common actions, hide, show, and toggle visibility, which toggles between hiding and showing. And every element supports the tap event. Some AMP components introduce special actions. For example, AMP video supports common video actions like play and pause. Here, when a button is pressed, we play a movie. And some AMP components can generate special events. For example, when an AMP form is submitted, it generates a submit event. Here, when a form is submitted, we display a message. It can get more elaborate if you want. Some actions take arguments. To include arguments, simply enclose their names and values in parentheses after the action name, just as you'd expect. Separate multiple arguments with a comma. For example, if you've created an image carousel using AMP carousel, you can use the go to slide action to advance the carousel to a specific slide. Specify which slide with an argument named index. You can take multiple actions by separating them with commas. In this image carousel, when the slide changes, message one gets shown and message two gets hidden. There's a quick summary of AMP actions and events. To learn more, head on over to the actions and events section on ampproject.org. To learn less, don't subscribe to the AMP channel and go watch some cat videos. As Paul would say, onwards. Mm -hmm.